Hello Araxis, I'm Dextro, officer for the Orbital to Strike Force and today I'm having a tutorial video of how to better throw, how to better utilize grenades in this game. Usually the normal player if he wants to throw a grenade inside a building, what he does is he throws the grenade against the side of this doorway. And you can see that the grenade will end up being in the room and him not exposing itself. It will end up somewhere around here. So it will end up on the side of the wall you were throwing it from the outside but just on the inside. This is quite good if you want to have it there but there can be scenarios where you want to have the grenade more to the center of the room or more precisely if you draw a vertical line from the center of the doorway you want to throw it like have to throw it like in that direction. So there's actually a way you can achieve it and this works the following way. You throw it against this 45 degree angle piece here and the grenade will end up flying into the room like that and as you can see it, it explodes around here in the center of the room from out the center of this doorway. Why does it work? That's quite simple. It's because of the mechanics. When a grenade bounces once from an objective like a wall it will bounce like a rubber ball pretty massive way but if it bounces twice on the second bounce or after the second bounce it will lose almost all its kinetic energy and will only drop to the floor and only travel a minimal distance and you can use this mechanic so in general let the grenade bounce two times and let the second bounce be close to your target and then play with it and you soon will figure out or you soon gonna be able to precisely pinpoint accurately throw a grenade wherever you want it to be. First off a small scenario I came into this building and there was an enemy at this corner and there are multiple ways I can deal with this threat for example I could throw a grenade a lot of people will throw the grenade against the back of this wall so it ends up around there and it works it bounces off this wall up to that wall drops down explodes this is quite handy but sometimes you can't do it because there's an ally between you and the destination you want to throw the grenade and you can't really throw it because it will bounce it will bounce off him. In these scenarios what you can do you can use the ceiling to bounce the grenade for one time, then let it let after the bounce let it land on the wall and then from this wall drop off. In this scenario you can just throw the grenade at the ceiling and you see it will end up there in the same spot but you're not having the risk of throwing the grenade into onto somebody's back where it bounces off. You can use this grenade in this example not only to potentially kill the enemy, you can also use it to force him out of cover and that is another way you can use grenades, not only to kill, sometimes it's worth getting the people out of cover so you give him a chance, you, you throw the grenade into his cover and leave him the chance to either stay there and die, try to flee so he's not an immediate threat for you anymore and you can start playing on approaching corners carefully and go after him or to force him out of the cover into your firing line and in this example if you throw the grenade a bit more to the back to this area the guy here has two two chances or has three options either stay here and get damage try to run here and get damage or run far away or again to move into the room and exposing himself to you. Another typical scenario are these stairways. Usually if enemies camping up there you're gonna die whenever you peek it. So you try to get a nade to force him away or to kill him but the normal player would just throw it up there and will end up in the other half of the room not harming anybody. But again you can use the mechanic of bouncing it twice to get the grenade up there. If you look at this metal quarter in the wall and if you throw to the right of it and a bit higher along those white parts on the wall from up here, you can see that the grenade will bounce off this wall to that wall and will end up directly dropping here in the center area damaging or potentially killing the people up here. So this is a really powerful way to throw a grenade up here. Other examples again, you're coming up here and you see that there's a person down in this corner and he just 
just shot or just shooting at the teammate who's standing here. When I come from here, um, what you can do is you can throw a grenade. So again, you can use the ceiling to safely throw the grenade up there and let it bounce into this area. And you see something funny happened, I hit the table, which is not really the w thing I wanted to achieve. But again, you can see that this grenade just bounces off this wall into the center part. And again, that's a perfect placement for a grenade. Because the person here in that in this cover got two choices. They get the damage and potentially die. Try to flee out of the window or out of the onto the balcony, which he more likely will not try to risk. Or come out of out of his cover and try to transition to this cover. But in that scenario, for me as the person coming up, I got the chance to shoot him while he's switching cover and I can pin him down at this corner and in the end he will end up having no cover. So these are some scenarios you can benefit with a more precise grenade placement in using several bounces to pinpoint accurately throw the grenade where you want it to have. Another potential scenario you're going to experience in the battlefield is if you want to take this building and it's defended, the defenders will end up being up there and camping the stairway. If you want to throw a grenade up there to get him off the stairway or to kill him or to breach through their lines of defense, you have multiple options. Some players will just throw it up there, but it will end up at the other wall right in the back there um, where it's not going to do any good for you in this scenario because you care about the people who are close to you, not or the f or far away. So you need to balance it again. You can use these boxes up there to throw it against there and let it bounce off the boxes and end up in this area. You can also throw it at this wall or you can try to throw it up here and let it bounce there as well. But these scenarios are kind of tricky because in this case you have to expose yourself pretty much. If you're aiming at, or if you look at the lights, if you throw the grenade up there, where I'm looking at, you can see that you can use the ceiling to bounce it. And depending on how close you throw it to you, you can actually line up a grenade so it ends up right in this area, as my previous nate, and potentially hurting a lot of people here. So you can play with this a bit to figure out or to find a way. So I would usually say orientate yourself at this light up there where I'm looking at. Throw the grenades and you can see this one is the perfect one right in the center of this upper stairway in this area doing the most damage. If you're a defender, I mean you can easily throw the grenade inside of the doorway if the enemy is coming from there. Or if the enemies are behind that block, you just throw it against the wall behind it so it bounces off there. Another thing, or another way you can do, or another scenario is the people are storming up these stairs and you have to reload and you see that they're actually going for the stairs. So instead of going here and throwing the grenade right into their face, which is more likely not going to work, you can again use the double bounce to get the grenade and you see that it was actually a triple bounce. So it ended up bouncing from here to here up to there. So depending, depending on how close you throw it towards that wall, it will not, uh, not up ending, will not have the risk of throwing it up there. And as you can see, it lands down perfectly at the start of the stairway. So these are a couple of scenarios and a couple of ways to utilize your grenades more effectively. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking forward for upcoming tutorials. And as always, see you guys on the battlefield.